and we're in. It's another San Martin. Uh, they are firing out watches at a rate at which I cannot keep up. Which one is this? Aha, here we go. So I have seen this one online. This is the SN0130. Thanks to the San Martin official store on AliExpress for providing this one for the sake of this video. Now this one may be familiar to you because in a lot of ways it looks like the closely codenamed SN0129 that's proven uh, super popular recently. That's the one that came with either the desert dial or the aventurine dial. But this one instead has a much more subtle mother of pearl dial which is hard to capture on camera actually this one. It doesn't seem to be as easily visible on camera as it does in person. It's pretty subtle and it looks great actually this particular colour. I think it also comes in like a white version as well. Before we get into it, just want to mention one or two things about San Martin that I noted from the previous video. So we had a couple of people in the comments mentioning them that they'd had uh, some quality control problems with San Martin and then customer services really weren't very helpful or maybe the opposite of that. Now in my own personal experience, having bought some of these watches before they ever, you know, provided any and sent any in. I surprisingly found that the quality control of the units I got were, were pretty good, really. So I will say, if you do want to purchase one of these watches, I definitely recommend buying from the San Martin official store on AliExpress. They're the ones I always purchased from uh, before anyway. And I noticed that there may be other sellers on AliExpress selling the same San Martin watches. It is a bit unusual how things work on AliExpress, but yeah, I'd certainly uh, go down that route if you can. I would like to hear some more, you know, feedback in the comments if any of you have had these, you know, troubles with customer service. As for this watch though, this watch, again, my, the, the I recognize the case shape. This reminds me of something, perhaps uh, Seiko, maybe Grand Seiko inspired with the way that it's kind of you know, chopped to the ends. From a distance, it doesn't look much different in size to the SN0129. But when you look up close, it does feel a little bit more bulbous around the center here. Let's get the calipers and then we'll give you the full details. So this is potentially, according to the website, I think it said 42 mil and yeah, 41.9 I've got it as there. So I was thinking this might be a good viable choice if you felt like the previous one was too small for you. It doesn't look huge though. It doesn't look like a 42 mil, 48.4. So yeah, relatively short. With those kind of fixed central end links, it's a bit bigger than that. 52.6 kind of effective, but it is curved quite steeply and a thickness of 12.9 with the domed crystal and without it 11.3 11.4 bracelet is the you know typical solid link bracelet with that nice heavily adjustable clasp that they seem to ship with quite frequently now yeah really good stuff very similar to the one used on the uh, Erebus watches. Uh, I wonder if there's uh, some sort of connection there because it does look uh, very similar. The bracelet is slightly different than a lot of the ones where you just have the stereotypical polished central link and brush down the sides. Let's get that film off and I'll show you. So this one has chamfers running down just the outside edges and they catch the light really nicely. It almost looks like there's a degree of separation, an optical illusion. It looks quite elegant really. But subtle and that's kind of the effect with the dial too. The dial is excellent in person. It's just got that extra level of depth that keeps you watching. Look at that. It's like a murky water effect or something. Looks great. Mother of Pearl. It's not normally my go-to but this darker tone version really suits a watch like this. Now while it's not a huge looking watch and it doesn't wear like a 42 mil, it wears more like a maybe 40.5 mil. It is still too big for my skinny arm. My arm's like six and a quarter inches. So this unfortunately won't be one that I'll be uh, wearing much. Uh, and definitely not with that bracelet, I would have to switch it. But for the most part, it looks good on wrist. Again, it's rare to find a San Martin these days that doesn't, to be honest. But something else I also want to get your feedback on in the comments. And that is that I've got some sort of interest in setting up like a little clued in 
group on like Discord or Facebook or something so that we can look at these new releases, new watch designs from not only this brand, but other brands too, and work out if they're clones of other watches that I've not heard of, or if they look particularly similar to other releases because these days there's just so many watches out there not just in the affordable space but so many luxury priced watches too that it's impossible for, for just one of me to actually know if if all these watches are original or not now it's really difficult and often the searches they don't really come up with anything even reverse image searches so i'd love your input especially those of you more into the luxury end of things because that's what a lot of the budget brands often will do they'll take elements or just you know straight up rip designs from these luxury brands and it's hard for me to know because there's only so much i can do so yeah let me know in the um comments if you'd be interested in something like that and i'll consider getting it set up overall this is another great looking watch from san martin sn 0130 good choice if that uh, sn0129 doesn't quite float your boat it's like a segmented bezel now that could be off another watch that's the only real part of the previous 0129 that i have since realized is um almost identical to like a grand seiko now is this one i'm not sure i mean i've not personally seen a segmented one like this but it could well exist already the dial looks really good though i think that's the real killer feature here love the experimentation with these coming bundled with it is a couple of tools which are fairly usable you got a screw for the links in the bracelet i believe and then you've also got a, a little double-ended spring bar tool there as well i'll affiliate link it in the video description on the specific store that, that we've previously used on ben's watch club yeah another really good watch i think this is currently retailing for uh, it is under 300 pounds it may creep over that with uh, any import fees which sometimes they add on a checkout on aliexpress as well it just depends on the, the region that you live in